What up guys, you heard that diabetic guy Vaughn and uh, I want to show you guys how to properly layer your walls. Um, we're going to do this four thick and this is going to create uh, a lot of extra resistance to damage taken. So it should help your base build out quite a bit. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get started right, let's jump right into this here. So the first thing you're going to do is get a 2x2 two two structure built. Once you got that all set up, you're going to start at one of the corners of one of the four foundations that you just placed. First, begin by putting a wall on the first foundation, but before placing it, you're going to invert it. By doing this, this is going to allow all the walls to remain the same level throughout the whole process. Now we need to create another snap point. The way to do this is by putting a ceiling on top of the existing wall. This will allow us to put another layer on the inside of the previous existing wall. When placing this second and third wall on the inside, you can use a function known as snap point cycle. This will allow you to perfectly fit and invert the wall with zero struggle. In order to properly place the ceiling, you're going to use the snap point cycle. So you're going to snap between different points until you have the perfect point in order to place on top of the second wall. Once this is done, you're going to then go ahead and cycle your third wall into place and then go ahead and invert it. Now we're ready to put the fourth wall in. In order to do this, we need to place a thatch ceiling. This creates another snap point. We are going to snap the wall onto this ceiling and it will stay flush with the other three walls. So I'm not going to lie to you guys, uh, this part's a little bit difficult when you're working with the corners. Um, it definitely is going to take some uh, getting used to. Um, basically you're going to have to like really watch the, the different snap points and, and figure out which is the correct one. So I, I do suggest going into single player mode and spawning all the uh, you know items in so that you can go ahead and just 
work this around, play with it, finagle with it a bit, and then eventually you're gonna get a lot better and, and really start to understand how to do it, and you're gonna become a master at it just like me. I also want to explain to you guys what the difference between um, cycling snap points and inverting is. So right here what I'm doing, this is um, cycling between snap points. That there is inverting between snap points. So it's very important to, to know the difference because they're two different techniques. The inverting is used predominantly for the walls, whereas um, snap point cycling is used, uh, it's used mostly for the ceiling but it is also used for the walls as you can see when I toggle back and forth between snap points and then I invert it last. And just another uh, piece of information to reiterate, when you're cycling through the snap points for the ceilings, when you're placing the second one, the second one's actually a lot easier to place than the first. So you just basically get under there and you see, you see how it's lined up green and then it switches over and now the green is beside the wood pieces and it lines up perfectly just right beside it on each wooden piece. That's how you're gonna know that it's in the correct snap point. When everything is fluently green, that's how you know it's incorrect. Usually you'll just have to toggle the snap point one more time and you'll actually be in the perfect spot to go ahead and snap that in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead uh, here guys and kind of zoom through the rest of the process because you should really know I've explained everything now how to do it and uh, I wanna get to the end product for you guys. All right, so here's the final product, guys. Uh, four layered walls, uh, definitely a great tool. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I love your feedback. Until the next time, guys, peace.